to the Factor Uncensored fans of Creole Cuisine will love this next segment. The restaurant we're about to introduce is one of the hidden jewels right here in the city of Houston. Located right in the heart of the historic Trinity Gardens area, it's called Creole Yaya, and it's home to some authentic Creole cooking. Chef Vaughn Moore is a ninth generation Creole. He's been keeping his family's legacy alive with recipes used for the restaurant. He joins us along with Eddie Juarez in the studio to talk about a Creole spin on holiday meals. But first, before we get started, there's always this confusion. Creole Cajun, same thing, totally different things. Tell us about it. It's completely different because what, what people don't fail to realize is that the original usage of the term Creole was for it, the first uh, generation that was born here on American soil or in the new world from the old world. So it actually, uh, they, they did things in terms of like labeling Creole tomatoes, Creole cottages, Creole people, and so on and so forth. So it, it had nothing to do with the Cajuns. Now the Cajuns came in from Acadia a couple of years down the line. They came in from Canada and then migrated into the Louisiana area. So, but all of them came uh, through way of France. Mm -hmm. France from Canada or France is straight into New Orleans, into the New, the New World colonies. Now you have many of these dishes at Creole Yaya and we're looking for alternatives to that boring ass turkey, <laughs> that boring ass <laughs> ham. <laughs> and yep. so what would you recommend cooking for the holidays if you're able to do it or come to you and have you cater it. But first, what are some of these recommendations to get rid of that boring stuff we Absol all know? Absolutely, I said. So I strongly recommend some of the dishes in terms of, like, I have a seafood mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's just loaded with flavor from through and through because what we do is we add a little bit of smoked gouda and so many other different combinations of that with the, the andouille sausage and lobster portions and crab meat and crawfish goes into that dish alone. So a person can order that and order some of the sides that we have and have a complete set down at their dinner. Or we can do the alternative in terms of like our wings here. We have a signature wing called the Mardi Gras wing. I mean, uh, 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 Marmalade. Creole mm -hmm. Lady Marmalade wing. And they are uh, uh, made with a special sauce that I created. It's a marmalade sauce that has a little bit of bourbon and some aromatics in it that gives it a really, really good uh, sticky type, spicy, but yet a little sweet and savory in there. Those are some sassy ass looking oh, wings. Oh man, <laughs> look. <laughs> With <their> glossy <laughs> well, that's What's why we that? call them Lady Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we have next is we have a catfish and shrimp combo, which I call my swamp catch covered in our swamp sauce. Look at and Crystal. So, oh, yeah. And so what, we, <laughs> so what we do with that is, uh, again, we have the cheesy uh, seafood sauce that goes over there. So we have fried catfish, deep fried catfish, and we have deep fried shrimp. And we take it and we put it in, and then we add it with a combination of my Mardi Gras slaw. Wow. And this is a slaw like no other. It's not the traditional coleslaw. What we have done is I've infused so many different flavors. So we've added uh, uh, onion. We've added a little bit of uh, bell pepper, a little bit of sweet peppers in there, and give into this little kick with a little bit of Thai heat in it. So it's crazy. And, and coleslaw could be boring as hell. Yeah. You know, absolutely. But it sounds like you've kicked it up a notch. Yes, right we did. There. Yes, we did. Uh, this right here, what you're looking at here, is called the Zotico Burger. Mm -hmm. And the Zotico Burger is a dance or a medley in your mouth. It will make you want to dance when you eat it. It comes with two types of beef. So we have a full, almost like nine ounce beef patty along with a hot sausage patty from Patton. Then what we do is with that, we top it with our Mardi Gras slaw and then we add a spicy mustard on both ends of the bun and it's just pure delight. And the presentation it. on all of these are incredible. Eddie, you've had most of this. You've gone oh. through the list. <laughs> I, had, I want this, this, this. What is your favorite on, on, on the list here? Uh, the burger. I don't like coleslaw, but he made me love it. <laughs> and I ate that whole coleslaw and the burger. And then when I had this catfish, same thing. And, and were you surprised just how good it was to you? Oh, yeah. This Creole cooking. I've never had it before. Mm -hmm. You know, and he happened to come by where we were working and invited us over. And I was coming back every day for a different item. <laughs> Tell me, come back, I'll make you something different tomorrow. <laughs> and you have some committed customers. What's last on your list here? The last that's on our list is the creme brulee. Now, what I've done was I've taken the traditional creme brulee and we upped it a notch. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, because I'm from Louisiana, you know we love pecan candy or praline toffee. So what I've done is I created some praline toffee, homemade praline toffee, and put on there. And then this other one here is a creme brulee with a passion fruit crema on the top of it, mm -hmm. loaded with just flavor through and through. Got it. Yeah. And, and we missed it. Oh, this is the... We uh, got the seafood okay, got mac that. and got, cheese. Got <laughs> I missed that. I come on, Crystal, come on up and try your sample before we go, because she's been with... She stayed an Crystal extra is waiting. Half an hour. And so, Crystal, what do you want to try really quick? Come on, Crystal. Come Let me on. give you this. Uh, you know you were talking about the catfish, Crystal. That's probably catfish. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. And tell me, let me get my mic. Make sure you got some sauce on there, okay. too. Are you picking up the You're shrimp? running out of time, Crystal. Make it quick. <laughs> Put the whole Just thing in the, your mouth. Pull the shrimp. The whole thing That's in. a shrimp. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm. It's got good season. <laughs> <laughs> and one, really quick, give me the name of your restaurant again and its location. Yes, sir. The name of the restaurant is Creole Yaya H-Town, and we're located 5006 Bennington Street in the heart of Trinity Garden, Texas. All right. Thank you guys for joining us.